Hello everyone, I'm Apoor Mathur and welcome to the second module about IITs. In this video, let me take you through a small journey of the legacy of this place known as the IITs. The legacy of the people that graduate from here and what it is to be studying at this place. I hope by the end of this video, you will have the urge to know more about IITs and what people passing out of here have done in the last 50 to 60 years. Let's get started. The history of Indian Institutes of Technology is notable unlike any other institute in this country. And you will agree with me that history of any place, culture, country, etc. says a lot about it. In simple words, knowing the collection of events and developments about any place that had a bearing on its past and hence will affect its future helps us understand the legacy of a place. The IITs and its alumni have added unfathomable value and have had a huge impact on our country. So, when did this story begin? Well, the concept of the IITs originated even before India gained independence in 1947. After the end of the Second World War and before India got its independence, Sir Ardeshir Dalal from the Viceroy's Executive Council foresaw that the future prosperity of India would depend not so much on capital but on technology. He therefore proposed the setting up of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. To get the necessary manpower in those laboratories, he persuaded the US government to offer hundreds of doctoral fellowships under the Technology Cooperation Mission TCM program. However, realizing that such steps can not only help in the long run for the development of India after it gains independence, he conceptualized institutes that would train such workforces in the country itself. This is believed to be the first conceptualization of the IITs. And on September 1956, the Parliament of India passed an act known as the Indian Institute of Technology Kharagpur Act, declaring it as an institute of national importance. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, India's first Prime Minister, in the first convocation address of IIT Kharagpur in 1956, himself said, here in the place of that Hijli detention camp stands the fine monument of India, representing India's urges, India's future in the making. The picture seems to me symbolical of the changes that are coming to India. Later, in independent India, four more IITs were established in the order of Bombay, Kanpur, Madras and Delhi between years 1958 to 1961. An IIT Guwahati campus started functioning in 1987. In the later years to come, older institutions in India were converted to IITs such as at Roorkee, Varanasi and Dhanbad. And the Act of Parliament instituted recently eight new IITs. The Indian Institutes of Technology over these years have stood unto their vision and are the most prestigious institutes in India that offer engineering and technological education of internationally recognized standard of excellence. Students coming out of the IITs are known to have acquired professional excellence in their life, be it a matter of getting admissions for further studies in most prestigious colleges and universities abroad, such as MIT, Stanford, Caltech, Princeton, etc., or getting employment in any reputed organization in the world such as McKinsey, BG, BCG, Schlumberger, Intel, Google, Facebook, etc. IITians are always in top demand. A very recent phenomena and culture changing development in IITs has been the entrepreneurial bug. Every IITian has been bitten by that. Right out of the college, they're out there trying to build their own company. The startup culture is increasingly being recognized by investors welcomingly. And no doubt, why you hear so many stories in the media of these young IITians making it big very soon in life. So, what happens inside? What do they do inside IITs that the students passing out from there are in such important positions and so many opportunities knock at their door? The environment inside IITs encourages freedom of thought and pursuit of excellence and inculcates the necessary vision and self-discipline 
to achieve excellence. The four, five years of course in your degree program build a solid foundation of scientific and technical knowledge and prepares competent and motivated engineers and scientists. The IITs kindle an entrepreneurial spirit among the students. The IITs prepare the students to become outstanding professionals and contribute to nation building. 